Hey everybody, welcome back. This is another TTM video. We like to get autographs TTM or through the mail. We've got six today, so we're just going to bust right into it. First one is coming from Orlando, Florida. We've seen a couple other returns from Florida this week. From Orlando, and we think well, this is who it is. It feels thin, feels like only one card. This person has a one card limit. Didn't sign the index cards. Sign the 68 tops nicely. Davy Johnson, 77 years old now. Former player, really good player. Second baseman for 14 years from 65 to 78, mostly for those Baltimore Orioles, as you see right there. Also played for the Braves a little bit. He won two rings with the Orioles in 66 and 70. Four-time an All-Star and three-time Gold Glover. So that's the end of the story, right? Nope. He's claimed to fame as probably as a manager. After his playing days, he became a successful manager. He won 1,372 games and a famous World Series with the New York Mets in 1986. Two-time manager of the year, 1997 and 2012. He's in the Orioles Hall of Fame. He's in the Mets Hall of Fame. And someday he may make it to the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. He's got a one card limit, eight days, no fee for player and manager extraordinaire Davey Johnson. Next one is coming from Springfield Mo. Got a bunch of cards in here. Didn't put them in the hard card. Did, oh, that's my note. He usually does return the notes. I've gotten him before. This is Bill Verdon, former Bucko, Gold Glove center fielder. He's getting a little bit shaky on that signature. That's fine. He's 89 years old. This is a 1979 TCMA limited card. Shows him with the Pirates at Old Forbes Field, where he won the 60 World Series. Look at that. Beauty up there on that black. 56 tops. Here comes the 58 tops. Sign these all in black. We have a little smudgy right there. Sharpie smudges a little bit. And our focus will be this 57 tops in this beautiful black ink. Another really good player. He became a really good manager, just like Davey Johnson. Uh, he just turned 89 years old. Played center field for the Pirates and Cardinals from 55 to 68, 14 years. He was the uh, NL Rookie of the Year in 55. And then he became a really good manager. He won five games short of 1,000, 995 and 921. Had a really good winning percentage. Managed the uh, Pirates, Astros, Yankees, and Expos. World Series champion as a player in 1960 with those Pittsburgh Pirates. Gold Glove in 62. Seven days, no fee for 89-year-old Bill Verdon. Next one's coming from, guess where? Springfield Mo. I'll bet you it's not Bill Verdon. Springfield, Missouri strikes again. Mr. Scott Bales, left-handed pitcher. 77-year-old, 89-year-old. Now we have a 58-year-old. He's a left-handed pitcher. Got a great signature. 90 leaf, 90 score, 88 Donruss, 87 tops with the wood grain. Mr. Scott Bales. He was a starter and a reliever for the Indians, as you saw there on that 88 Donruss. For the Angels, as you see there on the 90 score and 90 leaf and 87 tops, there's the Indians logo. Chief Wahoo. Shout out to Reindeer. All right. We'll feature, uh, nah, let's feature the 87 tops. Everybody loves the wood grain 87 tops. And uh, we need some more Indians in our lives. Uh, finish with a 39 and 44 record overall. Pitched for, like I said, 13 seasons. He was up and down in the minor leagues for a couple of those years. He's now an announcer for a double A team in the Cardinal system. That's probably why we got it back from Springfield. 12 days, no fee for beautiful signature, Mr. Scott Bales. Next one, we know who it's coming from. 
It's coming from Mr. Mel Renfro with a little tear right here on his own uh, address label, which he usually does. Gotten him a couple times, and he's done that each time. You got to pay for it. It's five dollars each, but he's one of the greatest players of all time, in my opinion. Definitely one of the greatest cornerbacks of all time. Mel Renfro. He always has a neat signature. Hall of Fame '96 on those two. 70 tops. Put those up. And then we got the 71 tops just below that. Mel Renfro, number 20, Hall of Fame 96. Mel Renfro, 20, Hall of Fame 96. Beauty, eh? 70 and 71 tops. He's 78 years old. Played for 14 years. 64 to 77. All for those Dallas Cowboys. That back there. Uh, ten times in the Pro Bowl, two times Super Bowl champ, Super Bowl six and twelve. He retired immediately after Super Bowl twelve. College Football Hall of Fame in eighty six. Pro Football Hall of Fame, as he says here, in ninety six. Nine days. There is a five dollar fee for each card for Mel Renfro, one of the greatest defensive players of all time. Next one's coming from Pittsburgh, PA. There he is. My man, Dick Grote, 89 years old now. Got this back finally. I got it back a couple of uh, returned senders from Dick Grote. He's 89 years old, and there were some rumors that he was in the hospital and not signing anymore. But this is nice and clear, no shaky at all. Looks great. Hope he's doing well. He played for the Pirates for 16 years. Well, he didn't play for the Pirates all that time, but he played baseball for 16 seasons. This is a 2,000 greats of the game, I believe. 57 tops. And this archives. Beauty. What's that? 52 tops, 53 tops maybe. Archives. 2001. Uh, played shortstop. Was the 1960 NL batting leader, 1960 MVP, and a 1960 World Series champion. He also won a World Series championship in 64 with the Cardinals after he was traded. Superb athlete. He was an All-American uh, basketball player at Duke. Probably could have played professional basketball, and he did for a couple off-seasons. And prior to signing with the Pirates, never spent a day in the minor leagues, went straight to the majors. Um... Glad he's back now. He was in the rumor to be out in the hospital in April. So we got this back after two return to senders this last time, 14 days. He was a great player. I mean, he had almost 2,100 hits or just over 2,100. Eight times an all-star. 14 days, no fee for Dick Grote. Get him now. He may be. He's 89. Next one's coming from Baltimore, Maryland. Had a few back from Baltimore in the past couple weeks. He's got some index cards. Unsigned. Ozzy Newsom. Did he sign all three? Yes, he did. What's that? 87 tops. Score 89. And this is 82 in action. Yeah, baby. Ozzy Newsom, Hall of Fame, 99 and all three. Nice. Hall of Famer, baby. How old is he? He's 64 years old. Seems like he's been around forever. Tight end for the Browns, as you see. Feature this 82 in action. He played for 13 years when he was a player, 78 to 90. Three times in the Pro Bowl. 662 receptions for almost 8,000 yards. He's on the NFL's uh, 1980s All-Decade team. First round pick out of Alabama where he was a star player. He's in the College Football Hall of Fame in 94. And as you see, Pro Football Hall of Fame in 99. After his playing days, he became an executive with the Browns and then won two Super Bowls with the Ravens. Super Bowls 35 and 47, I believe. That took a while, 65 days, no fee for Hall of Famer Ozzie Newsom. So that's it. Six quick ones, guys. I appreciate you watching. Davey Johnson, eight days, no fee. He does have a one-card limit. Bill Verdon, seven days. Scott Bales, 12 days. Mel Renfro, 9 days. There's a $5 fee. Dick Grote, 
after a couple return to centers, 14 days. And Ozzie Newsom, a Hall of Famer, 65 days. Shoot me a big thumbs up. I'm going to try to put the subscription right here. So just click right there. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. I'd like to read them and respond. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you soon.